Hi everyone, going to pick up where I left off on the Sicario. Firstly, thank you to Andy Shen for designing these and sending some out to me for testing. They work really well, the arm vibration problem is just completely solved if you're using these. I've had to come up with a different solution because of the way that I've run my motor wires, but this does work. I was trying to find a nice way of showing some black box data or some way of comparing this solution to the one that I've come up with, but there's so many variables, it's not like with flight controls where you can just stack them all up and test them at the same time. Um, so there's not really a way of doing a kind of direct comparison, uh, but I can confirm that both ways of doing it do just make the frame a lot more rigid and it will allow you to push the tune a lot further. This is the solution that I'm going to be using which doesn't uh, get in the way of those motor wires. That's just uh, stainless steel all the way through. So should be strong enough as well. Following on from all the gyro testing I was doing, uh, initially I left the iFlight Twin G F722 in here. I've since taken that out and put the Maytech uh, F722 HD in because it's got an MPU 6000 on it. Uh, and I thought that the two ICM 20689s were performing better than an MPU 6000, but unfortunately that's not the case. Um, any of the ICM gyros on the yaw axis, they are just miles off, they just don't even come close. And it's not just that they are reading noise that's there, they are definitely just creating noise, which is obviously then fed into the PID loop, which is really unhelpful. So unfortunately, at this point, I'm yet to test a gyro which is better than the MPU 6000. As you can see at the back here, this Sicario is set up with power redundancy, uh, so the top motors will run off one battery and the bottom motors will run off another. I've got a video on that if you'd like to check it out. As you've probably noticed over here, I've got the iNav configurator up. This Sicario is actually now running iNav and I'm about to take it to my test field and give it a spin, see if I can get a tune that's comparable to beta flight. There's no RPM filtering of course, but there's the amusingly named unicorn filter along with the matrix filter and I'm hopeful that I can get something comparable because that would mean we've got GPS loiter uh, and all the fail safe advantages that that would bring with it. If that's something that you're interested in keeping up to date with hit the subscribe button because there'll be more videos coming on that.